Uh, our deep pass, most of our passes are deep, but he's got to hit those gimmicks. He's got to hit them when we've got them open. Don't be surprised if they throw it up there early. Alcorn State preparing for nothing but run coming at you. It's the B-back, and this is Jordan Mason. Seven-yard gainer on first down. Good start for the offense, too. Here's another dive play. Ponches Mason, Jordan Mason, the problem putting in the young redshirt freshman Jordan Mason. Two carries and a first down to start and maybe here's a freebie. A little counter by Marshall. Backside, this is Clinton Lynch round in the corner. Into all corn territory goes Lynch. Dalen or lack thereof at a place like Alcorn, well, they can't practice cutting really as much. Straight ahead, Mason breaks free. Touchdown. Found on the body of a yellow jacket. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I like all that. <laughs> you know what? Paul Johnson likes it too, which surprised me yesterday. I was scared to ask him about the new unis, but he likes them. There goes Jordan Mason off to a great start. But remember, Cravante Benson and Chubbett, a guy who uh, could have, should have played last year, but got injured and they redshirted him. Yep. Did Alcorn fall on it? Georgia Tech get it. Oh, it's a speed Georgia Tech football at the 20 here now their third drive. Jerry Howard is coming at the B-back. Marshall going to throw for the first time. And offline coming back for Quay Searcy. So it'll be a snap by Alcorn State. Had that pass gotten off okay, it would have been tough to complete. And there's a nice big play in the backfield. Yep. Daryl Hinton Cottrell and Jalen Camp at wide receiver. Brad Stewart to the bottom of your screen as Marshall wants to throw. Shoots it to Stewart. He'll be short of the first down by about five. Before the best player in 10 Division I AA, and of course, great career with the Titans. Three time pro bowler. Big lick here on first down. Again. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Second and six after Trey Farrell had the big lick for Alcorn. And Marshall going to be sacked that time, and another play by Farrell. But outstanding penetration the last two drives for this defense. Third and nine, Marshall wants to throw. Now going to run out of there. And Taquan slips across. He will have the first down and stretch to the 35. As well, and the leader getting them done, getting it done and moving the chains for him. Dive again. Here's Mason straight ahead. Alvin, and here he is at the wheel of the spread option today. Base formation for the Jackets. Marshall, quick pitch. Nathan Cottrell on the backside. Into Braves territory and a full head of steam down the far sideline. Who here at Georgia Tech is blocking those guys and helping spring those big plays. Searcy in motion. Here's Marshall again. Call draw. He'll get to the outside. Cut back in at the 20. To Quan inside the 10. And finally drives it toward the 7, James. Cottrell, all 25 yards or more. Runs, big runs on the ground. And here is Jordan Mason on first and goal. Banging a bunch out there, and they've had a, a couple miscues up front. Two things just power it in. Marshall hands to Mason again, and Jordan Mason draws closer to the goal. One. See if they can get one more stop. Third and goal. Marshall will keep and score. Sure if he's going to be able to go today. Looks pretty good there, though. Karate Benson's coming to the ball game now on this second possession of the second quarter, and Marshall wants to throw. Taquan going to set it up, look for the backside, and caught. No, out of bounds. Shouldn't catch him balls like that. He, he's really strong. He cleans 375 pounds, and they, they love his blocking on the outside. That's very key in this offense. Marshall spins away from one, make it two, cuts it back, and flipped over by the third guy. At the 39. He can put him down, too. That was a huge play because it could have been a touchdown had he not dropped it. Third and five, and we're going to get an encroachment penalty, I believe, against Big Theron. You know, Fred McNair said, I, I can't fault him too much. I, I want him to play as aggressive as they can, and sometimes it goes with the territory. Cravante Benson fights for five on his prettier than Fred McNair. <laughs> He might as well be written down on a gum wrapper. Here, this is what we did. That's not pretty. Marshall wants to throw, hit as he does, and I think he was trying to dial Lynch, who got caught up in the walk. The line of scrimmage, hopefully Marshall's okay. Slot set on third down for the Jackets. Marshall shoots it to Sears, who will catch. 
That'll be a first down play inside the 20 to the 18. A quick hitter on the end. A good job by Cersei to just hook it up right there at the sticks and move him for a fresh set. Here's Benson eluding a couple would-be tacklers and then picks up right. Who opened against Mighty Elon tonight, James? Oh, you guys, how are they this year? Elon. We're getting ready to find out tonight, aren't we? <laughs> I guess so. Straight ahead, Benson. Cervante dives forward to the five. It'll be first and goal, Georgia Tech. It's not the case with Benson. Tight set for the Jackets here on first and goal. Marshall, this is Benson, and he will fall into the end zone for the Georgia Tech touchdown. See him not using emojis. Worst origination point for Georgia Tech today. It's 12, and here's Marshall looking to throw, and in and out of the hands of Quay Sears. Not getting behind in this rhythm. You know, you, you chip out three, you chip out four. There's an opportunity. You throw on first down. Senior's got to hold on to that football. That's Cravante Benson. He's, he's hit what looks like it's going to be a three-yard gain. He falls for it a yard and a half. Third down. Base look. Here's a little counter. Marshall going to cut it back upfield. He's got the first down. Taquan stretches toward the 35. We've hit on that vision talking about those backs. and None better than the quarterback with his vision running the football. Marshall tried to get it to Stewart. He lost his balance on the route, trying to break it off in the secondary. Really excited about him and what he can do this senior year. Second in the full 10. Marshall juggled the snap. Now the pitch. Going outside, here's Benson. 45 and midfield for Cravante Benson. It was pretty right there, you know. Nice pitch right on the money as you're being hit. Look at this, a little screen, if you will. And here's Benson, and he'll give a yard or two back. Nice run pursuit after the catch. Offensive Fred McNair is his new defensive coordinator, Cedric Thornton. So far, they need to be proud. They need to be pleased with the hustle. Mm -hmm. Guys on the ground, they don't stay on the ground. They pop up and go make a play. Guys swarm in the football. You just got to try to do it for four quarters, but it's not a lot of depth. Look at Mason back in the ball game. He had the game's first score, and he got nine. It's Lynch in motion. There's the pitch. Little counter back to the outside. Clinton Lynch will have the first down and then got knocked out of bounds. But Obviously, he wants to get to the NFL, but after that, he wants a backup plan, guys. So stick around. Marshall fires incomplete out of the timeout by Alfrancoeur, Paul Bird, Tom Glavin. They do a phenomenal job covering the Braves. And here is Cervante Benson almost a step away against the Alcorn State. And right out of two of days. Third down and five. Got some early movement there, and that'll be a penalty on Alcorn. Out we're like together. I bet you they had a blast. They will let this play go. I want to hear what, what you have to say. Third and ten. Yeah, no, it was really cool to meet him. You know, he did remind. Uh -oh. <laughs> Intercepted now. Flag has been thrown. This will come back. Pass interference against Torrance Wilson. So 11 seconds to go here. Alcorn drops two safeties deep. Marshall. Winds up and overthrows camp with six seconds to go. Yards of total offense. If anybody can put a couple band-aids on it and keep playing, it's Dungey. We've seen that over the last couple of years. Boy, he's, he's taking his lumps, but he's see how, how things go here in the second half of this offense. Base set for the Jackets to open the third period here. And straight ahead is Cravante Benson, and that is a 13-yard run on first down. Here, and Taquan said, you know, he watches film. He feels more confident. He's just got to get that game going. First down after the Benson carry. Here's Marshall. Nice pitch on the corner. Searcy set sail. Quay Searcy, 30. Got one guy to beat, and he'll be hauled down inside the 10. Javon Morrison saved the at the Alcorn State eight-yard line. Inside, Cravante Benson on the dive and taking guys with him. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Second. Marshall. And a catch made at the 11 out there. Second down. Marshall will throw again. Almost intercepted by Morris in the corner. See if this defense can stiffen and get off the field. 
Levante Benson breaks through to the 15. That's enough for a first down. Those guys, <laughs> those backs that are back and forth, when you're down at the goal line, that's a lot of running. Yeah. Hot day like today. First and 10, Marshall wants to throw it again. Now going to elude the pocket and take off. 20, 25, and out to the 29 goes to Quan Marshall. 14-yard run. And taking some hits like that, you, well, they, they add up, especially in this offense. You're going to take them on the ground. There's Stewart a catch. It'll be second. I finally learned who George Jones is, <laughs> who's apparently a, an old-time country music singer. Here's, um, <laughs> here's Marshall to Searcy. And he'll step out of bounds in all corn territory. And who George Jones was, the possum. And, and and also, he stopped loving her today. She listened to sad song. Yeah. And and I get, I'm with you on one thing, Rebecca. Is how is that going to get aired too on the phone this yeah. week about rookies singing songs? And he was telling us that his go-to when he was a rookie was Johnny Gill. My my my. Here's Marshall. Wanted to throw. Now going to dance. Now's got a guy wide. Georgia Tech will bring Tobias Oliver out of Warner Robins Northside High School into the ball game to operate at quarterback for his first season. Now, James, you referred earlier to this about at the wheel for the Jackets here. And here's Oliver on another keeper. Out to about the 24. Pick up of he's just got a chip on his shoulder. Yeah. He's you know, he's he's scrappy tough. He just Great dive play that time. Rotating in now, 41 to nothing game in the fourth quarter on offense, on defense. You better believe those first stringers are reminding them we got a goose egg going. You know, yep. Keep it going. Alvin Davis, a redshirt senior from Madison, Georgia. And here is the toss play, and this is Amari Jarrett. Jarrett, who's appeared was a pretty good receiver, but with Lucas getting hurt, they just they had to, they had to put him there. You have to have three quarterbacks in this system. And, and Paul Johnson, a third string player, and really interesting it'll be as we go through this first year of the new rules as far as red shirts go. Yes. Yep. Tobias Oliver picks up the first down. By the way, Graham oh, from Pitch, well. the nickname the. I <laughs> he wasn't trying to hear that. No, he recruiting was recruiting pitch, huh? Yeah, he was known as the iPod. Look at Oliver fight through a couple of tackles. He'll get back near the line. And Jerry Howard has checked in as Georgia Tech goes to the slot. And here is Oliver again. And eludes the first guy. And inside the 30 to the 29. Harris, the Miami transfer, not playing today. So they'll get some other guys ready to go here once they reach swack play for sure. And then maybe as early as next. First and 10. Toss play. And get out of bounds on the near side. He went down there, won't he? That Raymond James against the Bulls. Yeah, but very similar to what's going on up, up here in the weather. Yep. Yesterday was a pretty hot one. Off a pretty good team a year ago. Here's Oliver. Follow play out of the spread option, and that'll be enough for the first down. There's Tobias. You got a lot of kids from Florida, but uh, but also at USF. Even before he got there, that's one thing that I think that they did, and, and UCF did. There's so much speed, and there's so much raw speed. Huh? I mean, how about this? We showed FSU earlier. How about their game against Virginia Tech? We've got some big time matchups. Ooh. Oh, there's a hit right on the button now. Gant. James, here's the 15th play of the drive for Georgia Tech. Third and 13. Oliver wants to throw it. Now going to keep it. 10 5 and dies. Will he? Nope, did not get in. It'll be just short. Jerry Howard is the B back. Oliver tried to dive in. I'm not sure he got enough of it. In fact, I'm. Con well, Jerry Howard is his B back in the final 421 to go here in Atlanta. And Howard will get the carry. And I'll pick up about four to the 20. Second and six. 
There's Howard again. Just banging away for a couple more yards the other night for you. Well, I, I, I did some uh, a recon mission did to you? the Beyonce Jay-Z concert on Wednesday, and I think the grass is going to be just fine. That oh. ball got fumbled on the pitch. Blancato, the... Uh, ...is in there right now. I mentioned it earlier, the, the new red shirt rule, really interesting. You can yeah. play in four games. In my day, you had to fake an injury. Now you don't have to fake it anymore. You can play any four still red shirt. Hey, by the way, how about our... And there it is, the final piece. I'm really proud of it. The Heist men? Yes, the men, in plural. Not Heist men. Uh, no, the, the Heist men. You know, it's, it, it is the Heist...